YouTube, it's 4.05, it's Friday. Uh, today's topic is organs on a chip because we need to test drugs still. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematic a solution asteroid what am i doing up um so organs on a chip what does that mean so normally when we normally when we test drugs um and we're always testing drugs uh we uh we tested on well Sadly, we, you know, so we have a whole regimen of tests that we do, and first we start off on uh, animals, like rats. Uh, because I guess rats resemble us or something, I don't know. Um, but, and then, you know, eventually we work our way up to human trials. Um, because of the nature of drugs, we really don't understand these chemicals. Uh, we're very cautious in and how we work our way up to, to human examples. Well, the scientists, so, and it, it takes a long time, it's really expensive, and actually the route that we take, you know, really doesn't tell us much about how the human body will react to the drug, because I guess we're not really that, uh, we don't resemble rats at all. Imagine that. So, these scientists, they figured out that, um, well, we need a better way, obviously, and I think they think that we've we found a better way. They took these um, these I forget the material, but you know, plastic or acrylic or or something like that. They they took these blocks about yay big, um, and they drilled holes into them, uh, sort of these pathways from from one end to the other. Um, and then in these holes or these tunnels, these pathways in, in the chip, they lined it with various, uh, cells from different human organs. Uh, and they have, I guess they have about eight different kinds of these chips, chips, um, one for... Uh, one for blood, one for lungs, one for uh, various other organs in the body, major organs in the human body. And what they can do, each of these chips can replicate um, human function. So one is circulatory system, one is your lungs uh, or your pulmonary system, one's your liver, one's stomach, different things like that. And what they can do, because these tunnels are lined with human cells of that function, they can stack up all these different chips and say, okay, let's see how the human digestive and uh, breathing systems react to this kind of drug. And they line up those chips and then they, uh, they push that drug through the, ch the, the channels or the tunnels. Um, and then those human cells react to the drug that's flowing through and they can see um, how this drug you know how it works on these cells so uh, I believe that you know with the different combinations they can replicate each of the human functions each of the human the major human functions um, and uh, you know because they're human cells they can see directly how that drug might react to or impact the human body. Uh, they don't. They don't have to deal with any kind of animals. Uh, you know, so the, that's cool. We're not. We're not putting animals through uh, trials. Um, so there you go. I, I didn't catch a timeline on when they would actually start utilizing this, but it is the idea, and they're pushing forward with 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 this kind of method. Oh. So I thought it was really cool. I find it interesting that we go through animal trials even though it really tells us close to no information on how the human body will react to it. And yet we still do it.
it's, uh, anyway, I scratched my head. Um, so there you go, organs on a chip. I also found it cool that they could replicate, you know, the human, human body function just by different combinations of these, of these different chips. Um, funny how we can be reduced to, to little things. So, there you go. Um, I'll post a link. You can read up on your own. Um, but yeah, organs on a chip. Um, I gotta get to work. Uh, you know, but it's Friday. So, <laughs> hope you have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. I'm off to work. You go do whatever it is you do. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos. Um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning technical battles. Thanks again.